now this question says a b c d and p q r s are mathematically similar find the length of p q here and find the length of a d now what do you mean by mathematically sim similar this takes me to a topic i titled similar shapes now similar shapes are those shapes that they may not necessarily have the same height okay but maybe they have side angle side or as in two sides are equal with one two sides and one angle are equal for the two shapes okay or maybe two angles are equal side angle angle or angle side side it just depends any 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 way you look at it you just have to have three things that that you could say okay this and this could be equated to this and this for example for this one now we're told that they are similar and we're sure that this angle is same with this angle this side is same with this side okay now these are two angles now two angles and probably maybe this one was not shown but this and you could still have angle 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 okay for a for two objects that are, that are supposed to be similar now for a similar shape now okay there's a way we calculate it we'll take two given sides as in that's that maybe two sides from or a side from here a side from here another side from here corresponding to a side we're looking for here okay or let's just solve it out this one is said find the length of pq we're not giving pq but this one we're giving this side on it so we're going to equate we're going to be equating according to sides now let me write here this side is, is similar to this side so we'll have 6 over pq equal to now let's look for another side that is another two sides that are on the same that is a, a side that is given on this side are given on this side and both of them are similar that's this side now okay so we have this side and this side so six that is here over this pq equal to you know we took this one first so we take this one again 10 over 15. so if you're cross multiplying you have 10 pq equal to 6 times 15. so your pq will now be 6 times 15 divided by 10. 5 into this is 2 5 into this is 3. this is 3 you have 9 okay so we're saying that this is 9 now using similar and see how we put remember how we did it the first time we did this given side over this side we're looking for equal to this side again went back to this place and picked this side and this side again that was given okay this over this and then we got this now let's try and down I'll find the length of ad ad and they will not give you a length to find and they won't give you an equivalent similar similar side no they must give you the similar side on the other object for example for this ad we have ad over 12 equal to we could still use the same size since two of them are corresponding 10 over 15 cross multiplying we have 15 ad equal to 10 times 12 and then your ad will be 10 times 12 divided by 15 3 into this is or rather okay 3 into this is 5 3 into this is 4 5 into this is 1 5 into this is 2 2 times 4 is 8 so our ad is 8 okay now let's look at another question now this one is a question on congruency of triangles or similar triangles too if you put it that way now for triangles is either you have angle 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 side angle side 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 things like that so we we'll just keep or you, st you could still have angle side side okay now using this now let's read what we're asked the diagram shows a triangle abc okay this that's a big triangle abc then lmnb is a parallelogram that's this where l is the midpoint of ab 
a b so this is the midpoint and this is the midpoint of this one we're now asked to prove that a l m and triangle m n c are congruent that is a l m and triangle m n c are congruent now if you are asked to prove that they are congruent what we are simply asked to find out whether they have side 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 in common or angle 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 in common things like that okay now let's look at it now we're told that we're told that am we're told that m is the midpoint of a m and is a midpoint of ac rather please and l is a midpoint of a b okay okay now did they tell us the type of triangle no we're not told so if now this is a triangle these are the triangles we are considering this first triangle and this second triangle okay now this triangle now okay is taking a side from a c and that side is a m and this same triangle now m n c is taking a side too from a c and that side is m c so and since they, they were told that this is the midpoint so this is equal to this so therefore a m is equal to m c so we we'll now have one side now okay that's one side now again we are now told that this is the midpoint again of a b that means being the midpoint a l should be equal to l b okay now and this again is a shape like a is a shape that is showing that this side is equal to this side since they are opposite sides of a parallelogram okay you know opposite sides of a parallelogram are always equal okay now we've proved first of all that al is equal to lb now we're now saying that lb is equal to mn since they are opposite sides of a parallelogram so therefore if this is equal to this and this is equal to this that means this is equal to this again so we now have another side again that al is equal to mn being opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal okay now we have another one again we have that this side you know you no know, we are told that bc is another is another full line okay and bn and n is a midpoint bn is equal to nc okay if bn is equal to nc and bn is also equal to lm being opposite sides of a parallelogram too and this lm is another side of this triangle alm okay now if this is equal to this that means this is equal to this again okay so that means lm will be equal to nc so we've got on side 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 since we now have side 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 one of the requirements for two triangles to to be called congruent that means the triangle is congruent that's proved okay it's not so easy as that if we're able to if we had angles and we're able to prove that this angle there was an angle here and angle here and both of them are equal okay and then maybe we had two sides and two sides here two sides here that's two sides equal to two sides here and then an angle equal to an angle you can still say it's congruent that side side angle angle side side you know you have to put it so once you just bear in mind that you're looking for the, you're looking at two shapes and to see if angle 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 are equal or angle side side are equal or angle side angle are equal or side 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 are equal so once you're just able to get any of this you'll be able to verify that the that the two different figures are congruent so that's it for similar